Hey guys, Jay Cross here. The uh, mechanized artillery unit is out um, during this arena challenge. Want to do a real quick review uh, about this unit. It has some pretty cool uh, things about it. Uh, decent damage resistance and pretty good health for an artillery unit. Uh, I like the style. It's pretty unique looking. Uh, comes with three attacks. The other one you have to unlock, uh, which which isn't very expensive. It costs... Uh, it's this attack here, the un unstable shell. It costs um, 25 bars and 25 gears and a little bit of gold uh, and takes 24 minutes, So, which is a nice change from the nanopods to, to research something. Um, this hits soldiers all the way to ships, so if they ever do implement the, the where you can attack ship and land and sea, this will be able to hit sh uh, ships as well. Um, doing pretty decent damage. This is what's really cool here. The DOT damage with this uh, with this shell attack can do up to 2,000 damage. So at level nine, uh, which mine I believe are level seven now, so it's going to do about uh, at max 1,940. It can it can do less than that, but if it does DOT damage, it's going to be somewhere right around uh, around in this area, which can pretty much one shot kill uh, almost anything. Um, it does have crits and a pretty decent offense. So even even at best, if you just uh, if you don't get the DOT uh, effect, it's you're still going to get between 194 to 234 damage. Um, let's see, this is the other one that does that, the explosive shell, which has a 55% chance. So this one has a better chance of getting this DOT damage, which is 1,079, really nice. Um, <clears throat> this, uh, this also has a 64% chance of uh, doing this damage, the DOT damage. So, really nice. Except for this one, uh, which one of these? The box launcher, launcher, sorry, <laughs> launcher, is the other one that can hit air units as well. So, pretty nice. Uh, just under a million to get to, to max rank and four million gold. Things are gonna, just they like charging gold because there's nanopods involved with that. Advanced level 10, uh, repair bay, not too bad. Two gears, an hour and 30 minutes, and just a little bit of gold. Here we go. This attack is Rebel Forces. I'm trying to fight to give me some uh, some energy so I can do some more battles here. Um, these attacks we talked about earlier. This is the one that you unlock, and it covers a large space. <clears throat> lets you shoot pretty much anywhere behind blocking units and everything. And there is a chance that everything in this block, I think it's like just 25% chance, that will have that uh, DOT effect. So you see that that did 2,000 2,295 damage was the after effect. One shot that mega tank. Just it doesn't matter if it was a, a rank six mega tank. It would it would tear it up. Let's just do this isolated attack. See what we get. Of course, it wouldn't do the effect for me there, would it? Let's do this again. <clears throat> did 837, but also did a crit. I mean, I can't complain about that. Now, this is an attack that does uh, hits planes. Doesn't do a lot of damage, so it's nothing to write home about. Um, but against, funny thing, against the, uh, uh, the Goliath tank, these two didn't even die, so... Uh, and that's all I have is do them. So anyway, let's use it on. Uh, let's do this attack here. Yeah, that was crap. Let's try again. Get over here. Oh, see, did a thousand one hundred damage. So with this unit, it's a good chance. Uh, that you can one-shot a unit, which would be nice in PvP. It's kind of a, a gamble, though, but it would be nice in PvP. But the the thing is, is it's doing decent damage to start with, so that's not it's not like you're with a unicorn trooper. It can do anywhere from five to, to like 500 damage, so you could you could literally get a great shot or a crappy shot. Well, this you're going to do a pretty decent shot, and then you got a 50 to 60 percent chance, depending on the attack, uh, that you're going to do that uh, that damage that's going to one shot kill it so that's nice and also a really cool looking unit i mean almost looks like it's got little little walking teeth down here which is uh like little claws to get around looks pretty cool so i like this unit um yeah, i think it's i think it's worth having um 
I'm not saying that you got to have it in your army, but I think it's a neat unit that you don't want to miss out on. All right. Hope this video helps you make a decision on this guy and get back to fighting to help your guild. Gonna bring him into the big guns real quick. And the, also the Unicorn Trooper. I had to throw this guy in here because we really haven't had a chance to test him out with some of these decent units. All right, I'm gonna do my favorite thing here and use this to take out this launcher real quick because that's really nice. Um, these do explosive type damage, but uh, I'm gonna use Old Faithful here because I know it'll take it out. So here we go. Oh, another thing, the Unicorn Trooper is nice, is it only takes 20% of fire damage. So against the Ancient Sentinel, uh, it's actually a useful unit. Uh, there's better out there, but if you don't have a lot of options, that might be some, some way to go. All right, let's see if we can get some uh, DOT damage. Got 104. And nothing. We'll see. Maybe the effects... Maybe the effects... Maybe you just can't do the effects on these uh, against this guy. Let's try again. I want to see the Unicorn Trooper here. At least we get to see kind of what he does. Hmm, 34. Let's see. Try it again. Well, it looks like the effects cannot be done on this. I wonder if it can be done on the arm. Maybe Z2 has already... Oh, there it is. It's did a negative 240 damage. So there you have it. It doesn't work against uh, the body, probably the Sentinel body either, but still all around a, a good unit to have. I'd get a few. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.